Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new month. We've got the new comic block in our hands. Now, comic block's one of the numerous geeky boxes out there that provides a bunch of goodies to your doorstep. This one's for comic book fans. What a shock based off of the name. Now, it's put out by NerdBlock, and NerdBlock has tons of different boxes. Of course, they've got their main NerdBlock. Uh, there is the Horror Block, Arcade Block, uh, Sci-Fi Block. And usually special boxes that they come up with maybe once a month or a couple times a month uh, for various reasons. Now, Comic Block's been out for a little over a year or so, and it's been pretty decent. For a while, it was probably one of the best deals out there when it comes to boxes. Uh, it was like $20 with shipping, you got a bunch of exclusive comics, maybe a t-shirt, maybe another couple items, something like that. For 20 bucks, it was an awesome deal. So now they decided to get the box uh, more in line with the pricing of their other boxes. They mutated it, as they're saying, uh, and it's a bigger box for usually about like $30, $35 or somewhere around there. Since they did that, I'll be honest, I think it's pretty hit and miss as to what you receive inside. Uh, some of them have been pretty decent, and uh, the majority, though, I think have been kind of lackluster. Uh, the comics that you get in there have been lacking in volume, I, there's just not a lot of them, or um, the items themselves have been kind of low quality. And we're going to go over this month's box and show off what's inside. First thing is a art print by Tomokin uh, from Danny Moonstar, Danny Moonstar to X-23. Get a glimpse of the X Women Street Style and this exclusive art print by Tom Kennedy. Will you choose to uh, mirror the style of your fashion heroes or admire them from afar? So, this is one of my things of the low quality. A lot of boxes have been putting a lot more prints in them, and really it's just a picture printed on a little bit higher quality paper, but even then, this isn't all that high quality. Um, it's just a little bit thinner backing board, is really what it is. And the printing itself, well, decent. I don't think it's anything too special, so um, I personally hate these type of things in boxes, but you know they are what they are. So let's actually go over the items inside. First and foremost, we've got Harbinger Renegade number one from Valiant. Now uh, this is one of the big debuts that's happened recently. Harbinger Renegade bringing back uh, some classic characters from uh, old. Valiant comic Harbingers, um, so only a few outlawed teens can stop a violent new superpower movement from destroying America. Read about it in this month's Harbinger Renegade with exclusive variant by design by Kevin Wada. Harb uh, for those that don't know, Harbinger is kind of Valiant's X-Men in, in many ways. They have these characters called Psyots who have various abilities. This is kind of a team book. Um, long history on it, you actually don't need to know that history to dive into that. I think one thing Valiant does on top of delivering really entertaining superhero comics is they do a fantastic job of making sure their comics are accessible for new readers. This is no exception. It's also a really key book because it's going to be leading into their next big event, uh, event Harbinger Wars 2. Also, Valiant's going to be coming to the big and small screen, small screen with their uh, Ninjak vs. Valiant Universe. Uh, big screen, there's a couple movies that are in the works right now, so get in before everyone else and then you can say you knew it when before it's really popular. I have to say Valiant, uh, in my opinion, does one of the best universes out there uh, out of any publisher and possibly one of the best, I think probably the best superhero universe. Uh, the comics flow fantastically. Uh, they do a fantastic job of going uh, from one comic to another. You can read one comic and enjoy it. You can read numerous comics and see some ties in between them and appreciate it even more. Big events actually have consequences and you can just read those events and enjoy the events without everything else. They are a publisher that really gets it as to how to properly set up comic book series and events and tie it all together. Can't praise them enough. Pretty much anything you pick up from them is going to be quality. Uh, and, you know, if you really, really want some suggestions of, of uh, Valiant books to get, sound off in the comments and then uh, I will hook you up with some really good suggestions as to where you go. I mean, there's quite a few of us at our site that love Valiant. They also, on top of the comic, have this t-shirt, which is pretty sweet because you don't get a Valiant t-shirt uh, very too often in these boxes. Uh, you don't need me to psionically powered, uh, you don't need to be psionically powered Harbinger to fit with this crowd. Uh, just rocking this exclusive tee from Shirt Punch. 
will make you feel uh, like you have superpowers. Are you ready to join the ranks? Uh, now this is a t-shirt I'm absolutely going to be wearing. As I said, you don't get too many uh, Valiant t-shirts in various boxes, so to get one like this, and it's a de design I kind of appreciate and I might wear out every so often. You know, it's uh, it's pretty cool. So, thumbs up on the T, though it's not necessarily the best style. Um, I would have rather just had the symbol. I think it would have been kind of awesome to just have the Harbinger uh, symbol. Um, I'll take anything when it comes to that because, you know, it's not something that you get a whole lot of. All right, next we've got Hellboy and the BPRD 1954, the Unreasoning Beast, a val uh, variant of that. There we go. So this is what mysterious creatures behind the attacks on the Arctic expedition. No longer the newbie, Hellboy is on the case and teaming up with the BPRD. Uh, find out how it ends in the Black Sun at number one, the exclusive variant cover design by Eric uh, Kinnett. Hellboy, enough said. Fantastic comic. Always good, always entertaining. I can't recommend it enough. Hellboy is actually a fantastic series. Mike Mignola's world that he's developed, I think, is, again, one of the best shared universes out there. Uh, not really necessarily, I guess, super, kind of superhero. More more like horror with little superhero elements, but not tons. Uh, very entertaining. This is the earlier years of Hellboy when he's just joined the BPRD, so he's a rookie in many senses and kind of uh, getting into his own. So uh, this is a much more unpolished Hellboy, a bit cockier, a bit more um, willing to just run into things and uh, punch things to solve the problems. Always fantastic series. Art's absolutely amazing. This one's also written by Chris Roberson, and then we've got Dave Stewart on, uh, on I think, Colors and Inks, and then Patrick Reynolds is the art. Always um, absolutely amazing. So a variant I'm very, very happy to get. And so that's two variants. That's kind of cool. So far we got another one. This is an exclusive. And apparently a, another variant. So this is a variant cover, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, underneath this exclusive variant cover by J-Bone lies the story of a crossover you never saw coming. See what happens when Batman and T uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meet Clash. Team up for the very first time. Not really the very first time because uh, there was a Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic before. There was a different volume. However, the difference is, is this is the animated Batman and the animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So uh, more geared towards kids than the previous volume. Previous volume was more for the adults. This one's definitely for the kids. And, uh, you know, if you go in recognizing that, that it's for kids, it's fun, it's entertaining, worth checking out. If you're a fan of the, the Turtles, if you're a fan of Batman the Animated Series, well worth uh, seeing. And as always, another exclusive. Very happy about that. So now we got three exclusives plus the t-shirt. And we're not done yet. We've got a fourth exclusive, the variant cover of Mask Number 1 from Titan Comics. Uh, back from war and suffering from PTSD, Frank Bradford is facing an all-too-familiar scene, except this time the battlefield is on his home turf. Will he defeat the anomalies? Learn the outcome in Mask Number 1, the exclusive cover by La Mark Lamming. Laming. Uh, Titan Comics, one of those uh, publishers you probably don't hear enough of. Really do some great comics. Mast is one of them. British publisher, so there's definitely that uh, European-British sense about things. Well worth checking out. Entertaining comic. Um, I, I liked it. You know, it was interesting as I believe it came out as a trade first. Now they're breaking it up into uh, individual issues. So I read it many, many months ago, probably over a year ago at this point, uh, and, and enjoyed it. It was a fun comic um, and uh, entertaining. So check it out. Well worth, uh, well worth reading. The first issue came out like last week, so this is still pretty relevant and new series. You're not missing out. All right, maybe the second lamest item in the box, we have a Deadpool lanyard. Now, lanyards are useful in that, you know, you need them for going to conventions and carrying your badge. Um, I have about three billion lanyards at this point, so it's nothing that really excites me. Uh, but this is when the J-O-B calls for a little excitement. Use this exclusive Deadpool lanyard to hold your name, uh, tag, or key card. It will incorporate a bit of your personal style and make you feel like a total badass. I mean, it's basically the Deadpool logo on the lanyard and the Deadpool logo on the, the end of it. Not bad, nothing really special. Alright, we got a 60 ounce molded mug, another Nerd Block exclusive. This one uh, shaped like Daredevil. 
need to shake off the beating that left you unconscious in the dumpster. This item's coming straight to you from the Hell's Kitchen. Use this exclusive Daredevil mini mug to help you drink and live without fear. It's actually, ah, oh, it's all taped. Let's open this up. Show off what's inside. So they've done uh, in a couple of these boxes really massive mugs from Funko, and this kind of seems like this is that similar idea, except a smaller version. So a smaller version of Daredevil's head for fans. Uh, not bad, kind of cool. You know, not very big, so it feels like more like uh, I'd be doing shots out of it than anything else. But still, uh, you know, it, it feels like a decent item for uh, what you're paying for, I guess, if that makes sense. doesn't. It's not quite as uh, chintzy as the, the lanyard or the print. Um, for the love of God, please stop doing prints. I just beg of you. I think they're completely worthless. Um, so, yeah, that's everything in the box. This, this comic box has been pretty decent. you got a bunch of exclusive comics t-shirt was decent not the greatest a t-shirt but the fact that it was a harbinger t-shirt and not some like marvel dc thing makes me really really happy you got the mug um lanyard i can do with else without and the uh the print i can do without so next month we've got seven exclusives um the gotham city sirens are taking over comic block for the next three months Collect one of these exclusive little bombshells in each, giving you a hint. So if you are into DC bombshells, you should look into that. And there's also something from Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and Ninjack. It says four exclusive variants, so it looks like we're going to get four new comics with uh, exclusive covers, and then three more exclusives on top of that, So which is pretty cool. That sounds like a pretty packed box, if you ask me. Now, if you're interested in getting next month's comic block, you can use the link below this video. It is an affiliate link, so we do get a little bit of the purchase. And by doing so, you help support our site, and it's much appreciated. So until that, then, you can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. As always, thanks for watching. Keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky.